Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a zipper pull. A lot of people have been wanting me to do this, and I wanted to wait until um, I got some orders, but no one ever ordered, and I don't want anyone to steal the idea, um, because it was my idea. F well, I had it up first on YouTube, at least I think, because I looked up, like, I looked it up a bunch of times, and I didn't see any videos on it, so... I just wanted to be sure I was the first person. I know there's someone else with the tutorial, but um, I'm, it was my idea first, so I'm just going to make this before someone else takes the idea. So um, It's going to look something like this. It is going to be chrome. No. It's going to be paint splatter, I think. I'm not really sure what color it's going to be yet, but this is what we're going to be making. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so your first step is to take um, the color of your choice and get a strip that is about a little bit more, a little bit more than four inches long. And I'm just gonna do this with you. Um, that way, you don't have to pause the video. Um, so that's your first step. So do that now. And then your next step is to take this and fold it about little a little less than a third of the way or however thick you want your um zipper pull to be so do that and then pretty much just fold it over each other or fold it over itself just like this so you should have something that looks kind of like this you might have yours a little thinner a little th um thicker that's fine um, they're all going to be different, like this one is a little, it's pretty much the same, but, so that's that. And then your next step is to fold it in half, like this. And this is when you decide how long you want it to be. Um, I like them kind of, like, in the middle, they're not really that short, they're not really that long. And then all you do is take your scissor, on your scissors, and you just kind of cut it off to where you want it to be. Be. So I'm going to cut it off to about there. That's a little uneven, but um, it's because I have a weird angle because of my iPad, so I came over here. So there you go. Now it's straight, and it is now a little less than two inches, but that's fine. So there's that. That's your next step. Okay, so now that you have that, if you have a pattern, um... You might want to fold it the other way. Like, I think I'm going to fold this this way, actually. So I can have this be the front, because I like that more. Um, that's just total preference, though. So, once you have the it folded, make sure it's folded evenly. Put it down on your cutting board. And then make a slit one-third of the way. Um, just like this. You're going to pretty much be cutting off a corner. And then do it on the other side. Just like this. So you have like a little... So if you unfold it, it should be just be like this. Um, and then you take your little finding or whatever you have. And you pretty much just take it and go like this. And you pull it into the bottom just like this. Um, so now you take, um, either a new color or the same color. Most of the time I just choose the same color because it matches better. But if you want a different color, that's fine. And you t take it out like this. And you just take, um, a little bit less, or actually no, half an inch, a little bit less or so, like that. And then you take it. And once your finding's on there, you make sure it's even this way, and then you just wrap it around the top, just like this. Okay, so now you are pretty much done with your um, zipper pull. 
Um, you should have two little flaps and it connects at the top with a little finding. So this is the part you connect to your zipper. But um, I'm just going to add one more step so you can personalize it if you want to. At this point you could either cut out some letters or something. But I just found it to be way easier just to put, just to take a normal old sharpie and um, draw something on it. I'm not going to draw anything. Actually I will draw something on this one. Um... Maybe I'll just do So you don't have to do this step but it does personalize it. So just write the word smile. Because why wouldn't you want to smile while wearing a zipper pull on your jacket? Um so that's what you do next and then Sorry, I kind of have to adjust my little stand here because it's. I have my little stand here with my iPad leaning on it. So there you go. Because um, it was leaning on my clear tape. So now you want to get your clear tape out and take, um, I would say about two inches of it. Okay, just like that. Can't really see it, but it's there. There it is. And then you just stick it all the way up here at the top. Just like this. Press it down like this so you have like this weird thing. And then just fold it back. And then do that same thing that you did before, just like this. So, and then cut off your excess. Just like this. And then you have completed your zipper pull. Um, it normally takes me about like literally like 15 seconds to make one of these. But So I hope you like them. Um, if you want to order them, they are two for a dollar, but that includes shipping. Um, because shipping on it is 44 cents. So here's your final product. It is a zipper pull about two inches long and about half an inch thick to stick on any one of your jackets that has a zipper or just as a keychain it doesn't like you could just have a keychain like this so thank you for watching comment rate subscribe and um comment if you want me to make any other tutorials um i'm not really sure what i have left i can make a lanyard i can make anything you want pretty much so thank you for watching and uh that's about it